The 10th race, 3rd Division, 2004, Burlington Stakes, and they're off and pacing. And strong off the wings of the gate was Unique Fighter, but Metropolitan looks to be a little bit better. On the inside, 3rd, that's Tricky Grin lining up. Western Terror is well away in 4th. Our Lucky Killeen lined up in 5th. 3rd to last, DM Sundance, then up front, Brad, and the early trailer is the Grin Tin Tin. Quickly to the front, Metropolitan and John Kimball. Unique Fighter has worked out the two-hole position behind a 1-5 to five favorite. Tricky Grin, 3rd to the quarter, 27 and 1 fifths. Metropolitan strides away in his own fashion in the back stretch, and he's got his all his own way here in the second quarter. Up to 3 eighths completion, Metropolitan keeping him stacked up single file quite a while. Unique Fighter racing along in second. Tricky Grin is third on the way to the half. Western Terror on the inside fourth. DM Sundance was first to move and picks up the outside move into the top five, and he's still going forward with it. On his cover goes up front Brad. Our lucky Killeen stayed in, and last but brought to the outside was Grin, 10-10, in 56-3, and 29-2 rating in the second quarter. Under the final turn, Metropolitan Unique Fighter, DM Sundance tries it first over. Up front, Brad is second over into the top four now, and Tricky Grin stayed in from fifth. Sixth off the final turn is Western Terror. Our lucky Killeen found a seam to come out, and Grin, 10, 10 was taken back to the cones as the trailer. But it's still Metropolitan. The lead is a clear length. Unique Fighter, the pocket tripper, DM Sundance was first over, and up front, Brad swings out off second over cover. 124 and 1, 27 and 3, turning it on in the third. And into the final eighth of the mile, Metropolitan has opened up a sudden five or six length lead, and he's moving away. On the far outside, our lucky killing, Tricky Grin through between horses. Western Terror, the far outside. Metropolitan, an easy, eased up winner. Four across in the place and show photographs from the inside out. Unique fighter than Tricky Grin, and farther out across the track our lucky killing with western terror they weren't going to touch metropolitan 151 and one six metropolitan returning to the mohawk winner circle three-year-old bay colt by the penderosa From Tallulah Bell, Metropolitan, owned by Jerry, Norman Smiley, Jeffrey Langfelder, and TLP Stable, trained by Chris Ryder, and driven to victory by John Campbell, his second in three this year. And he wins his Burlington Stakes Division, Gate 2 Wire, 151-1 and one for Metropolitan in the 10th. With the winner's circle presentation of the trophy, Scott McKelvey, racing secretary for the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. A, a sharp effort here tonight. A nice uh, preview of what we get expect to see from him in the NA Cup. Well, hopefully, um, you know, we had a little bad luck uh, last week with just racing luck, and that's the way it goes. But I'm, you know, happy he bounced back with uh, a race like he did tonight. He was very sharp uh, leaving the gate and very sharp finishing. So uh, I think he's going into the North America Cup right at the top of his game. And uh, you know, we're just going to have to see how he fits with uh, all the top goals when they get together. That's been a, a trouble for a lot of the top Colts this year. How they've come back, their first couple starts, uh, wasn't an issue for this guy. He won 50 and 4 off the shelf against older horses. Yeah, we were really happy with uh, his first race, and you know we thought we were going into the Hoosier Cup in pretty good shape, but uh, you know it just didn't work out. But it, it's very difficult. I think that's one of the toughest uh, training jobs there is, is bringing a three-year-old back and trying to get them ready for these early races. It's, it's very difficult because you always run into problems. Uh, you know, with ev Every horse has a certain amount of problems, and it's very difficult to get them at the top of the game this early in the year. John, you drove the Panderosa to the North America Cup win in 1999, uh, he being the father of this Colt. Uh, any similarities between the two? What's he passed on? Uh, just the speed part and the gate part. He's very good gated. He's actually nothing like his father. His uh, father was uh, more um, racy and, and on for going. This Colt is very laid back. You've got to make him do it. So he's, he's very different from the Panderosa in that regard. Congratulations on the win tonight. We'll see you next week for the NA Cup of Limbs. Thank you very much, Ken. John Campbell wins with the Chris Ryder Train Metropolitan tonight's third division of the Burlington.